Hello, welcome back. I hope you remember me right. I am Ritik from Bright Champs. In session one, we learned how to make an account on Scratch. And in this wonderful series on the Scratch lectures, in session two today, we are going to learn how to make your first animation on Scratch. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so I hope you remember how to go to the Scratch page, right? Now, very simply, you just need to click on create. See, on the right side at the top, it is written create. The moment I click on create, I am being taken to a new page. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, wonderful. So the page that we are seeing right now has all the components of Scratch. Let's start learning them one by one. So on the right side, I have marked a red color square. I hope you can find it, right? This is called as the stage of Scratch, okay? For example, you know, when you go to school, you perform any dance, you perform any activity, you do it on a stage. Similarly, this is the stage of Scratch, all right? Whatever game, whatever animation you're trying to make will be available right here. On the stage, we have a teeny tiny cat. I hope you can find, right? Great. This is called as the sprite of Scratch, okay? So the earlier thing was stage. All the characters that you will have on your stage will be called as sprites, okay? So in this specific project, the sprite is a cat. Now, since we know two things, right? What is the stage and what is the sprite? So now let's first pick an idea. So in today's session, you know, I'll try to make a wonderful aquarium. You also take two minutes, think what you are about to make. So since I'm making an aquarium, I think what I need in an aquarium is, is a wonderful background that has waters, right? Along with that, I think I need a fish. And I don't mean only a one fish. I think I need a lot of fish that I need on my screen, right? So that my ocean is filled with a lot of fishes, okay? Let's start learn. Let's start to learn how will we get the fishes as well as the backdrop. For that, it is very, very simple. See, we click right here on the left bottom. It is written, choose a backdrop. Let's click on it. Okay, that's amazing. When I click on choose a backdrop, I can see so many beautiful backgrounds here, right? Now, since I'm looking for a notion, I think I'll have to go down and maybe look for something like waters. Pool. I think maybe I can find a better one. It's good. Okay, now I can see very beautiful ones, right? See, there's underwater one and underwater two. I think I prefer to go with underwater one. Now, similarly, whatever project you have selected, you can select that pattern. But what is the cat doing here? Let's say bye-bye to the cat. Very simple. Just below the stage, there's a small cat you can see. It says Sprite one. Just click on the trash can and it will disappear. Okay. Now, similarly, I hope you also have your background by now, right? Very good. If not, you can pause the video and get it first. After that, we are going to start to get the sprites. So I'm clicking on choose a sprite. Okay. Oh God, there's so many options. What will I select? So I think since my project is about aquarium and a lot of fishes, I think I can click on animals at the top and I can see all the animals. That's wonderful. Okay, mm. oh, we can say, okay, there's a fish right here. Let's click on the fish. Amazing, I have fish number one. And you know, I think let's name it Nemo. Because I'm sure you also have seen Finding Nemo, right? It's my favorite movie, I can tell you. Now let's click on choose a sprite, go to animals and select another fish. I cannot see a fish or anything that is in the ocean. Maybe a puffer fish will work. Okay, let's click on puffer fish. Okay, I have a puffer fish as well. And maybe one more. Now, similarly, you can have as many sprites as you want. Because this is all about the project we are going to make, right? Whatever we want, we can select it. And that's the beauty of Scratch. Okay? Now, I think shark will be very dangerous. I don't want a shark in my house. <laughs> okay. Mm, then I think I can get a jellyfish. Okay, that's cool. I have a jellyfish as well. Wonderful. Now, similarly, you also make a design and you get your sprites. For example, let's say you have selected a school. So you will get a background of a school and instead of fishes, you will get some people. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to make these fishes move on the screen. Only then it will look like an ocean, right? So now very simply, what I'll do is I'll just mark one thing for you. Well, give me a second. Okay. Now see, 
at the center we have this white board bigger white board right what is this this is called as the coding area because what we are learning is coding right we are going to learn to code on scratch the block based code so this is called as a coding area but where will we find the code the code we will find on the left side see i have marked another red box it has three options code costumes and sounds so i can add different code blocks i can add different costumes and i can add a lot of sounds in the sessions to come we will be learning each and every part of it as of now what i want is i want my fist to move correct so very simple if i want the fist to move if you can see in the coding palette it says move 10 steps let's select it and put it on the screen very simple you just drag it and drop it on the coding area now when i click on move 10 steps the jellyfish is moving 10 step but i think it will be even better if the jellyfish moves all the time right so with that we are going to learn a first thing of coding that is when anything is moving all the time for example i want my jellyfish to move all the time so i will use a block called as the forever block why forever generally means right when th- something is happening all the time so i click on control see it's a orange color button in the code palette and you can find a forever block don't worry we will learn about all these buttons very soon okay now we just get forever and we add it here i think now my fish will move all the time let's click on it and see that's good so jellyfish actually goes to the right but the problem is it is stuck hmm so what i can do is now i can tell my jellyfish hey jellyfish if you go to the right side and you are stuck come back to me right so what will i say this is the edge edge is what we call okay if it touches the edge it will bounce back okay for that i click on motions the blue button and there's a block here that says if on edge bounce so we are giving a condition just like you know our parents tell us if you do good work you will get a chocolate similarly if you touch the edge you will bounce back but again there's a issue oh god i don't know what is it okay i can see the jellyfish is inverted i hope you can also see i see the jellyfish is completely inverted hmm but i think it's very simple to solve i'll just tell my jellyfish right that hey jellyfish don't rotate completely rotate only right or left how will we do that see just below if on edge bounce there is another block that says set rotation style left and right let's drag it and put it right here i think now my jellyfish is working perfectly fine and to start all of this i will add an event that is the green flag click now what is an event very simply let's say somebody rings the doorbell of your house now what will you do you will answer who is at the door right so basically what they have done they have triggered an event ringing the doorbell is an event what you do you reply to the doorbell right similarly here the jellyfish we created an event for the jellyfish that when i click on the green flag you have to start moving and i click on the red button it stops and i click on the green flag it starts okay and i think i want my nemo and the puffer fish to do the same thing very simple you can click on backpack at the bottom see it is in backpack and take the code and put it right here now see the code is stored right here now i will go to the nemo i will copy and put it here i will go to the puffer fish copy and put it here now let me click on green flag and our animation is ready amazing all three of them are moving so nicely right now you know if you want let's say nemo to move a little bit slow so instead of move 10 steps you can make it move five steps now as you can see nemo actually puffer fish is moving a little bit slow because this is the puffer fish code similarly for nemo i can make it maybe seven steps now nemo is also a little bit slow okay so that was all about the first animation that was a wonderful fish aquarium so i'll give it a wonderful name as a fish world okay and i will click on share now if you want you can just type fish world in the search bar and you will find this wonderful project that i have created if you like the project make sure to you can like it you can start it okay and similarly when you tell me what you have worked on i'll make sure to like your project and leave a comment for you as well okay 
So this was all about our second session on Scratch, where we learned how to make our first animation, right? So let's get started. Go on, make your wonderful animation, and make sure you let us know what are you working on. Thank you very much.